Welcome back, everyone, to the All-Star Piston Cup Racing Series, everyone. I'm Lightning McQueen here alongside my two good friends, Strip, the King Weathers, and Toe Mater. This is probably going to be a very epic race today as we hold on. Um, there we go. This is probably going to be a really epic race today. What do you say, Strip? Yeah, it looks pretty good from how I'm going to see it. It's a pretty much quarter mile racetrack, everyone. Won seven laps in today's race. Yep, and this should definitely be a good one as we have some some races from the last races. And yeah, pretty much Reb Meeker is in the game. He was very furious, or actually very determined determined in the qualifying today. But he but he had a pretty good qualifying lap actually. But he did not manage to get pulled. He will be starting third today. Dirksen D'Agostino last. Um, last night's winner, I think. No, no, Tuesday's Tuesday night's winner will be starting four. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup. On the pole, we have Todd Marcus. He had a really fast time around the, today's track. Alongside him is the 73 of Ricky Axel. Row two contains Red Meeker and Dirksen D'Agostino. Row three contains Chip Gearings and the 68 of Parker Brixton. Finally, in row four, we find Speedy Kame, a new incomer, and Cal Weathers, last race's pole sitter. Eight cars, five laps, it's a quarter mile racetrack at Charlotte Motor Speedway today. And we are ready to get started, everyone. The pace car pulls off. He settles by the flag person. The green flag's in the air here at Charlotte, everyone. And Tom Marcus leads. Drifting around turn one, he will... Take the lead immediately down the front straight away. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Tom Mark is down through the turns. He's going to probably lead today's lap. D'Agostino working to the inside very, very quickly. Just a comment to the inside. Weather's not making much progress to the outside as we begin the second lap of today's race. And four wide, four wide cutting out of turn number four. Oh, Comet gets loose, but he saves it. Now Weathers is onto the inside. He's going to secure his fifth place position. Still three wide behind them. Axel to the inside, but Marcus is holding his ground to the outside. Comet is now third. He cleared the 34. Weathers is now to the inside. Still three wide behind them. Now coming out of the turn, Marcus still leading. As we begin the third lap of today's race. Back there on lap two. Looks like Comet and... Um, Weathers are battling each other there. Dirksen D'Agostino has secured his fifth place position. Still somehow three wide behind them. Now Gearings is going to try to get to the inside right there. As now... Oh, Dirksen Dag D'Agostino with a wall remover jumps himself to the lead with Marcus close behind in second. Wow. That's fast right there, everyone. As we still... Stay green here. We're about to enter lap number four. And now, oh, contact with um, Turks and D'Agostino with Todd Marcus there. There it goes. There it goes. Cal Weathers wrecking into him at a very hard, hard speed. They spin down the back straight away. Comet goes to the middle. He, he avoids the wreck. Right. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Parker Briggs and Chip Gearings got involved in the crash. Red Meeker is having to do a wall remover now to get by the pack. <laughs> Holy cow, everyone. Red flag instantly here. Holy cow, red flag. What did you guys think happened right there? That was a pretty violent wreck right there. I mean, two cars are up against the catchments right now. I hope all the fans are okay. What do you guys think happened? Well, from how I looked at it, I think maybe, 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 maybe 
uh, Todd Marcus made contact with Dirks and D'Agostino, and then um, D'Agostino somehow spun out. But I honestly don't know. Well, no, check the replay again. Well, from how I saw it, right there, we'll zoom in with the camera right there. Yeah, um, oh, no. No, he did not make contact. Todd did not make contact with D'Agostino after all. Look at that. D'Agostino looks like he went too aggressive in his turn. And then he just spun out of control. And that's how just, yeah, I don't really think that was Marcus's fault. You know, I kind of agree with you, Mater. Hmm. For now, how I look at it, I think I agree with Mater too. So it's technically not Marcus's fault. It's basically D'Agostino's fault. Man, he was last race's winner. He just has to spin out in this race to get involved in this wreck. Wow, a tough day for him already. And he's caught up in this wreck. Alright, the track is being cleared up right now. Alright, the track is cleared, everyone. We are going to restart on lap four of seven here, everyone. Four laps to go in this race already, everyone. The green flag is back in the air, waving. Todd Marcus jumps out to the immediate lead once again, followed by Comet closely in second. Reb Meeker trying to take redemption to the inside. He's going to try to hold on to that position. Oh, Marcus a little loose, but he somehow saves it. Meeker loses a ton of speed right there. And now there's Ricky Axel and um, Speedy Comet battling for third right there. As we begin the fifth lap of today's race. Three laps to go in this race already. Marcus really holding on to his lead. Meeker is just... He's hes just really close on his tail right now. Still battle between... Um, Speedy Comet and Ricky Axel. Now out of the final turn, everyone. We're about to take the green-white checkered flag, everyone. Comet and Axel both to the inside. But Meeker and Marcus both slammed the door on them. Now we're going to enter the green-white checkered flag, everyone. Now we're on board with Meeker as he's on to the outside of Marcus. Now we're on board with Marcus to the inside. Looks like Meeker's making contact out of turn or number two. There they go down the front straightaway. Still ba now Ricky Axel has kind of cleared his, his third place position, everyone. All right, everyone. The white flag is out. One more time around at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Who's going to win race number six of the season? Marcus really pulling away right there, but Meeker is just kind of staying on his tail right there. Can he make it, everyone? Three wide right there in the pack, everyone. A squeeze to the outside. Trouble in the corner with Marcus. Marcus saves it. He's, a, he's an out of the turn, everyone. Still battle between... Speedy Comet and Ricky Axel, everyone. And now Meeker and Marcus are side by side. Half now into turn number three. There they come out of turn number four. Meeker tries the inside move and he will win race number six at Charlotte, everyone. Speedy Comet second by a car length. Ricky Axel third. Wow, Reb Meeker pulling away with this win. Marcus just let himself wide open right there. He does not look happy at all. But hey, he has two wins this season. Let's just not give him much of a call after that. So let's see what happened there on the last turn. Looks like, looks like as they came out of the turn, Marcus tried to, but then he got loose. And yeah, that's how Meeker got to the inside right there, guys. And he managed to pull away with this win at, at Charlotte. With Speedy Comet securing his fourth place, his third place position, Ricky Axel fourth. What an amazing race today, everyone. Brett Meeker is our winner. Yeah, that was really awesome. I agree, too. Join us next time, everyone. On the All-Star Racing Series, I'm Lightning McQueen, I'm Toe Mater, I'm Strip the King Weathers. And remember, a race never ends.